Hey, this is Andrew Bill for Pre-Hospital Wisdom. Let me show you a case where you can't give adenosine to a tachycardic patient. This is AFib with Wolf Parkinson White. This is what it looks like. Uh, it essentially just looks like these scribbles uh, where you can't tell if, if it's upright or downward or uh, uh, what what direction things are pointing. In this case, sometimes the uh, accessory pathway is not active and the QRS is narrow. Uh, and then it comes back again. But you can see this irregularity, the differences between the R to R here to here, uh, in this case, down here below, uh, is fairly uh, uh, obvious. Adenosine blocks conduction through the AV node, but not across the Kent bundle. So whatever's going on in the atria potentially passes across the Kent bundle and goes into the ventricle. So thus, AFib becomes V-fib. Atrial fibrillation becomes ventricular fibrillation. So that's why you have to withhold adenosine in irregular rhythms. Whether or not the, the accessory pathway is active is difficult to tell. Uh, uh, unless it's in a tachycardic uh, rhythm like this. Uh, so don't give adenosine to irregular rhythms. Sangreville for pre-hospitalism. Till next time, see ya.